Hello friends, how are you? This is Dr. Shinagi, Ayurvedan medicine doctor and also Isha Hatha Yoga teacher. So today in this video, we are going to talk about the health of our ear. As you know, ear is very essential sense organ of our body and sometimes it happens like we are totally unaware about it. And we just keep doing things which are not so good for ear health. Not knowingly, but unknowingly because we are not aware about it. So let's see what Ayurveda has to say about ear health. According to Ayurveda, ear is a place of ether element and air element. So all the disturbances or all the problems that happens mostly in ear are mostly related to vata imbalance. Many of us are unaware of the fact like ear is not only a hearing organ like we think ear is just for hearing like if you speak something I will hear through my ear. But ear is not only this, ear is also a balancing organ of the body. As you know this ear is been divided into three parts that is inner ear, middle ear and outermost ear. So whenever there is some problem in ear, we also feel sometimes vertigo, that is we are not able to balance ourselves. Uh, this also happens whenever you have ear infection. Many times this happens, people complain like there is something oozing out of the ear, like some discharge is coming out of the ear. And these days I am feeling a lot of vertigo, like lot of these something is happening, I am not able to balance myself. So if you are also among them who are feeling these kind of problems, balancing problems especially and your ear also is giving this kind of sign like something is coming out of the ear, uh, though it is without pain, just itching is happening, then it is very high time that you do a proper ear checkup because maybe medicine is needed for ear, maybe there is some inflammation, maybe there is some infection that is also related to balancing yourself. That's why because of that infection you are not able to balance yourself properly. So this is one thing that you need to take care of. Another thing is a very common mistake these days we are doing because these days everything is online. Chatting is online, meetings online, conferences online, studies online, students are sitting online all the time. Uh, for taking their lectures, notes and uh, to relax yourself, people are listening very high loud music because they are saying that it gives them a feel of enjoyment like only they can enjoy loud music, no other music they can enjoy. So if this, uh, this is happening, you need to see like this is not only about sound, your ear is not only about sound. If you do not take care of your ear, it will uh, also cause long term imbalance. Like maybe you feel starting vertigo, tinnitus, even if somebody is speaking with normal voice, maybe you will not be able to hear it if you just keep listening louder, louder music. So regarding this also, I would like to give you precaution like whenever you are using headphones, try to keep its volume low, don't keep the volume very high because ear is also going to impact your brain, it's also going to impact your throat, it's also going to impact your jaw movement. So everything is related with ear as you know our nerve supply is like this. So it's very important that we take care of our ear because if, we'll, if there is an infection in ear, it can travel to the sinuses also. So it's very important. If you are feeling some kind of stiffness in your neck, if you are feeling vertigo, if, I, if you are feeling imbalance and some kind of irritation or heaviness in ear, maybe it is an ear infection. So what is the proper way of doing it? You need to check it with otoscope. There is an instrument with which doctors see what is the inside uh, thing in ear, in your ear, is there some infection or not? If it is infection, you need to take proper uh, antibiotics. After taking antibiotics, even you need to take care of your ear in a normal way properly. In Ayurveda, regarding taking care of ear, it's very importantly been said like never not to take out this uh, ear wax like daily. Uh, just itching ear and just go with this anything, anything, uh, any cotton week, just people are just doing, doing, doing something in the ear. This is not right. This is not recommended in Ayurveda. In Ayurveda, it's been said after taking shower, make sure like 
if some water has went inside you just take a cotton towel wrap it around your finger little finger or normal finger and just from the outside dry it out properly like you tilt your head and try to dry it out don't take something which just to pull something inside don't take any sharp thing to put inside your ear it can damage your eardrum that is uh, this, that which is very important and it's a very great protection for your ear